and I'll say this about all these Democrats and Republicans uh, who, when Congressman John Lewis was alive, they would go down to Selma and they would tout how amazing John Lewis was. Well, if you are unwilling to stand for the very thing that Congressman John Lewis believed in, then you're a lying hypocrite. I, you know, I think you're absolutely right. Um, and, and it's why I, I've just got to believe that this is not what he wants his legacy to be. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm so tired of black folks and young people and working people being taken for granted uh, by some people in the Democratic Party. You know, they get elected on our backs uh, and then just completely forget about, you know, the policies that would actually improve our lives and allow us to live in dignity. I don't have the luxury of conditioning uh, filibuster reform or anything else on, on bi so-called bipartisanship. OK, I'm, you know, I, as a black man in America, for example, my life is directly impacted by police violence. Right. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. We can say that about the Equality Act as well. And, and so it's just it's just crazy to me uh, that people are forgetting the real life implications of not passing the legislation that House Democrats, who have been doing the lion's share of the work in this country to help improve people's lives, uh, have been passing at a breakneck speed. This is a Senate problem, and it is a White House problem, and we need the White House to finally rise to the occasion and do right by the American people. Uh, and not just say the speech in Tulsa to senators, no, name them. That's what right. must has to happen, all right? Folks, back to our role, Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Racial injustice is a scourge on this nation, and the black community has felt it for generations. We have an obligation to do something about it. Whether it's canceling student debt, increasing the minimum wage, or investing in black-owned businesses, the black community deserves so much better. I'm Nina Turner, and I'm running for Congress to do something about it.